All right, folks, today we're going to be talking about this Dirty Downs Rust Paint. It's going to be very good. Let's shake it up. Sound effects. Let's have a little looky see. Oh, it smells like methylated spirit. So, with this stuff, activates in, well, starts working between one to ten minutes. So, let's do a line. Let's do some stipple. That was far too much. So it's like a big old glob there, didn't I? For the less is more of it. So you can see it's changing colour as we speak. Right, let me just whoop. <clears throat> As you can see, it's changing colour as we speak. The stipple's going to look better than the line. The line's going to look a bit crap. With your brushes and stuff, best to use an old brush. It clogs up something terrible. If you get a real clogged brush, you need to use mess to clean it out. What you can do is you can also sort of change the effect with water. It's water soluble though, so over the top of water too much you'll wipe it out you can change the effect slightly and move it around with some water i'm not going to because i've got no water out here at the moment as you can see it's changing color already what you can do then once you've got one layer that started to change color so for example on that line let's do a bit of stuff down over the top go for a second layer you can see different applications make different shades and see the sponge it looks totally different to what it does with the brush with the stipple so I've gone for two coats on this first piece here so it's going to darken up somewhat Sorry about the noise in the background. I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Let's do what's on the sponge. Sorry about the shaky camera, keep on knocking it with my brush. You can see it's totally changed colour now into a darker shade. We've got the single sponge stipple, that uh, single brush stipple, sorry, and we've got the sponge stipple here. It's just slowly changing colour. Like I say, once it flashes over, you're looking between one and ten minutes for it to be fully dry, which I think is pretty quick. I don't think it even says that on there, does it? It's thick coat, it's smooth and spray rubber with damp or wet cotton bud. So you can change the effect, make it how you want. You, even if you use like a, a fat, wide brush, you can push it into corners and stuff like that. Sorry about the shadow in the background, that's my daughter playing up. Get 
bits of that to evaporate a bit quicker. But as you can see, colour look, color looks great. Good amount of colour, especially here. Here with the two coats on. Definitely, definitely a good little product. Can't honestly remember off the top of my head where I got it from. Uh, but I'll have a hunt, I'll hunt for my emails, and I'll, I've had it since before Christmas. There's only a chance I've got to use it now. I'll have it from my emails, find the link to where you can get it from. Um, there are UK suppliers, obviously. Um, rest of the world, I think in the US you can get it straight from Dirty Down. Don't hold me to that. Is it a US product? No, this is made in England. Okay. So there should be plenty of UK suppliers then. If it's made in the UK. Ignore what I just said. Um, yeah, like I say, comes out great. If you have a comparison to some of the other Rust products I've used in the past. You can see the shades of the of the rust. So I've got obviously Good, good colour variation between a lot of them. Yeah, I can see it's still changing as we go now. Awesome product. Super happy with it. Um, like I said, I'll stick a link in the description below. Cheers.